Here we are going to discuss a question from the topic fundamental principle of counting. The question is, a coin is tossed three times and the outcomes are recorded. How many possible outcomes are there? How many possible outcomes if the coin is tossed four times, five times or n times? So there are different parts of this question. The first part is, coin is tossed three times. Second part of the question is coin is tossed four times, again five times, then n times. So in different cases, we have to calculate the numbers of outcomes. Okay. So let us start with this case. When, let us see the solution. When a coin is tossed three times, then what? is the total number of outcomes. So you know that when a coin is tossed, there is two possible out of outcomes, either head or tail. Every time, whenever we toss a coin, any two outcome is possible, either head or tail. Correct? Fine. So in this case, coin is being tossed three times. Suppose this is first time, second time, and third time. So whenever first time this coin will be tossed, how many outcomes are possible? Two outcomes, either head or tail. Similarly, when the coin is tossed second time, again there is two possibility of outcomes, head or tail. Similarly, for the third time also, two possibilities are here, either head or tail. So total number of outcomes will be how much? Therefore, total number of outcomes how much by fundamental principle of counting this will be 2 into 2 into 2 2 into 2 into 2 that is 8 outcomes in total when coin is tossed three times so this is the answer for this first part when coin is tossed three times similarly when the coin is tossed four times when the coin is tossed coin is tossed four times then total number of outcomes total number of outcomes will be how much the same pattern will follow here this will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 how like this because when coin is tossed first time Possibilities of possibilities of outcomes is two, either head or tail. Similarly, every time there is two possibilities. So four times coin is being tossed. So two into two into two into two. This is equal to sixteen. This is the answer. So now you can do these questions very easily. Similarly, when the coin is tossed five times, total number of outcomes will be two into two into two into two into two five times means. 32 possible maximum outcomes okay and when n times when coin is tossed n times then total number will be sorry total number will be 2 into 2 into 2 how much n times so this is 2 to the power n this is the answer correct so this is very interesting question from the topic fundamental principle of counting now, in next video, we will do some more problems from the same topic. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video.